Today I'm opening up an entire booster box of the brand new set Paradox Rift. 36 packs of cards inside, and I want to know, is one of these new awesome alternate arts going to be inside? Let's open it up and find out. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. Do me a favor and hit the like button to help this video out. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to help the channel grow on the road to 40K. I seriously can't believe that, but here we go. Full booster box of Paradox Rift. I don't know why, but I really just want to pull the Tapu Koko. That Tapu Koko EX, like that card is just a vibe. I really want to pull it before I pull any of the other alternate arts, but I'm curious to see what's in this booster box. I'm expecting about 12 hits. I'm expecting a handful of EXs. I'm expecting a handful of illustration rares, and I'm expecting at least one alternate art. Now, it's a little too early for the prices when I'm filming this, but judging by some eBay sales, it's looking like there's only a couple of alternate arts you can pull to just break even on the booster box if you're paying around a hundred bucks for the box core guys min chow deoxys okay nothing yet but like i said i really want to pull that tapu coco and i think the roaring moon the roaring moon ex would be pretty awesome but there's a lot of alternate arts in this set i want to just blast through this whole booster box i need everything in the binder here we go flittle toad scroll and there we go hoopa ex full art first hit out of the booster box honestly that looks really, really cool. I kind of like this one. You guys know me, Kanto Kurt. Not a huge fan of the newer Pokemon, but this looks pretty, pretty awesome. A little bit off center there, but that's okay. Let's drop the Hoopa EX into a sleeve. Bam. And like I was saying, I need everything for this binder. Vault X just dropped a really awesome SV4 Paradox Rift binder. Hit the link in the description of this video. And if you put in the code Kanto Kurt, you'll get 10% off. All right, we've got Crustle. Tinkaton, Durant, Earthen Vessel, Chiyu, Mantike, and Valk, Valk Canyon. Bam. There's the promo for you. I think, I think I want to just take all these out. Let's take all these packs out of the box. A little easier to grab them there. Bam. There we go. That looks awesome. Let's keep it going. Like I said, expecting about 12 hits. This is only, uh, I guess, technically the third Paradox Rift product that I've opened. It's been fun so far, but it's a huge set. It's like a really, really huge set, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull everything. I feel like this is gonna be one of those trade to complete or uh, just go buy the singles kind of set, but I really do wanna finish it. I think just because it's so big, I want to finish it. It's kind of challenging there. We've got Nicket, Medical Energy, We've got Gliscor, Minfu, Technical Machine Blindside, and the Iron Valiant EX. There we go, first EX from the box, and like I was saying, expecting to pull about four or five EXs. I'm expecting about four or five uh, illustration rares, and then like a full art trainer, or a gold, and then one alternate art. But I think the gold can take up the spot for your alternate art, which... I don't know how I feel about that because the golds never seem to be too crazy. I would think everyone would freak out over the golds, but they're never uh, they're never that pricey. There we go, Lockix for the hollow again, code for you. I say this every time, but hopefully you guys are doing better with these codes than I'm doing better on this box. But how do we all feel about the kind of guaranteed uh, pulls in the English booster boxes now. There was always like sort of a, a set amount that you could count on, but it feels uh, very uniform now, you know, with that guaranteed alt art per box. I'm sure there's someone out there furiously typing a comment right now that says that uh, they opened a booster box and didn't get an alternate art, but I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed like one gold or one alt per box. I'm grabbing too many. Pharisee, Crobat, and Angry Morpeko. Here we go, code for you. Is everything just gonna be on the right side? Did I shuffle them up too bad when I uh, filmed all the packs on the ground for the intro of this video? I try to put them back in there the same way. Okay, I don't think I saw the edge of a hollow in this one. Could this be the alt art for the box? Here we go. We've got Scream Tail, Nimble, oh, Manoon, and a full art Chantal? 
Chantel, I'm gonna say. Chantel Trainer, here's the code for you. Bam, and let's drop Chantel. Chantel is how I would guess to say it. Let's drop you into a sleeve. Feels like there's a lot of trainers in this set, like a lot, lot of trainers. Let's keep it going right side though. Right side, yeah, I don't think I me messed it up. Here we go, Porygon 2. Ah, I feel like I see the border of the hollow in this one. I don't really like that there's a hollow in every set. I don't like how you can kinda, oh, we got Brute Bonnet there, we got Steeny and Spartha for the hollow. I don't like how you can see the border of the hollow and you kinda know like, eh, not going to be a crazy pack, but I guess the way it's set up, you still could get the alt art. We got Surskit, Magby, Flamingo, Porygon. That's some nice, just, just simple looking Porygon alt art. I like that. Here we go. Slitherwing. We got Vanellite and the Toxtricity Terrestrial Rare. There we go. Bam. Let's drop you into a sleeve. I kind of like these a little more than the regular EXs because they've got the texture to them. I got that nice, nice shiny texture. All right, almost, almost halfway through this box. I like how I'm going through this fast, not making you guys sit here all day, but I wanna know, we all wanna know, what have you gotten out of your booster boxes? I really like these. That'd be cool if they did more of them like that. That ancient uh, just looks cool. Your mask, we got Oricorio and Age Slash. Age Slash, definitely saying that one wrong. Keeping it moving though. Stoked to get that Vault Art Vault X binder and fill this up though. I haven't finished every Sword and Shield set. I know this is a really, really big set, but I think my goal with Scarlet and Violet is to try to 100% the entire thing, and I really want to get caught up before I get any further into it. We got Dottler here for the illustration rare and the goalie, hollow goalie for the hollow bam. Very off-center Dottler, but I actually really like this artwork. I guess it's got sort of the, uh, it's not like an ancient card, but to me it's kind of got that ancient uh, vibe to it, ancient artwork vibe. Can that be a thing? Talk about vibes, Tapu Coco. That's all I should be focusing on. I need to manifest the pull. Tapu Coco, Tapu Coco alternate art. Here we go, Porygon, we got Cedra, Cloth. Luxurious Cape, Cyclazar. Can you imagine if it was in this one? Tulip, we got Cyclazar and Groudon for the hollow code for you. That's happened more than a few times where I've like been talking about a card and then I pull it all of a sudden. But I guess the Roaring Moon would also be cool. Here we go, let's see. I feel like if I'm, ta if, if I'm bringing it up, it's not gonna happen. If I forget that that can happen, then it can happen. We got Spinda, Feebas, and Iron Hands EX doubling up from my uh, Elite Trainer Box pulls the other day, but that's okay. Drop the Iron Hands into a sleeve. Maybe be able to uh, trade this for another EX. Here we go, though. Keeping it going. Paradox Rift. Does it feel like the sets are just coming out too fast? I know when they drop a holiday set and then a main set right afterwards, it's like, this is too much i bet everyone's still trying to finish 151 we've got gibble uh, we got grout on and iron juglis Jugu I'm, I'm not even gonna try this looks cool though i like the future cards there's a code for you we'll set you aside and last pack from the right side so far no alternate art no gold here we go Quay Coco, Blip Bug, we got Snow Run. I actually like the artwork on that Snow Run too. We've got Blindside, Iron Bundle for the first reverse, Honage, and Zashian for the rare. Okay, feeling like this side. This side's gonna be a lot better. Here we go. Maybe I shuffled them up. I had to put them all on the ground to film that intro. Maybe I shuffled them up too hard. Here we go. Ah, I feel like I saw the hollow border in this one. We got Rika, Gorgeist, Swablu, ah, Blipbug. Where are the illustration rares so far? Just two? Two illustration rares, a terrestrial, and we got the full art. The Hoopa started it out. Can you imagine how horrible that would be if somehow that Hoopa took up the alternate art spot? We got Simisage, Goldbats, 
Iron Moth, another illustration where, there we go. And this one actually is really cool. I really like that space kind of background there. Iron Moth, can we double it up? No, we can't. Code for you, and bam. I don't know, is it me? Or is the centering just like kind of crazy to one side? with all of these Iron Moth going in the sleeve. And I guess we'll do a little recap at the end of this. We'll do a recap. I don't like to do the recaps because then people just skip to the recaps. Here we go, Wismer, we got Flamingo, Porygon, Norman. Norman just chilling in the woods. We got more Pekka, more Pico, Galvantula. <sighs> okay, I don't know. I don't know about this set. I feel like Obsidian Flames really was my set. I hit like, everything within less than a hundred packs but here we go blip bug maybe i'll have to get some three packs for paradox rift but like i said feel like this is going to be one that i really just try to trade for or go out and buy all the singles from we got bombardier ex bam very nice i guess just an ex let's drop you into a sleeve i love the the sparkle effect on those exs but i don't know i don't know let's keep it going more than a handful of packs left here. I was thinking about doing just the hits, but that's kind of boring. And it's kind of then a really, really short video. We've got Slitherwing. I kind of like that, Slitherwing. That sounds cool. Onyx, uh, Jirachi, and Palkia. Interesting, interesting lineup there. Haven't noticed, and there's definitely nothing to this. Haven't noticed any particular pack art always having the hit for me but i swear the rev of room pack art from obsidian flames was just like almost always fire tinka tink we got a palm and iron moth for the hollow code for you i have a feeling you're doing way better on these codes than i'm doing on the packs i want to open up some more 151 it just kind of like crashed so fast price wise that it just didn't really feel worth it but i definitely want to open some more and i want to go out and trade for the entire set. We got Plusle, Kingdra, and Yvettel for the Hollow Rare. I don't know, 12 hits? I guess we're getting close, but let me know. What are your thoughts? Comment, tell me. Now that you know there's like a set amount of hits per booster box, if you look at the prices of the chases, does that kind of scare you away from buying a booster box? It's like, well, if I don't hit that one alt art, kind of lost on the box, right? We've got a nice Aegis Slash EX full art. Very, very nice there, bam. Really like the colors on this one. The full arts, especially through Sword and Shield, were kind of my favorite. Kind of liked them more than the alter alternate arts here and there. Just some nice clean art, nice colorful background. But yeah, like for this one, I mean on eBay, seeing like, um, uh, uh, Roaring Moon going for like around a hundred dollars and the Iron Valiant EX all going for like around the same. Does it feel worth it to buy a booster box for a hundred bucks knowing you might not pull that one card? I guess you get all the extra ones too and it's always really fun to open it. I love to open them but after a while it's like mm, probably better to just go trade for the, the cards. Here we go getting towards the end haven't seen an alt or a gold yet. Is this gonna be the one box so far for Scarlet and Violet that I don't pull one? Zay 2, we got, I don't know, and Serena EX doubling up again. Doubling up from the Elite Trainer boxes from, I think yesterday, I think I'll do the ETBs Friday and this'll come out Saturday. There we go, only a couple packs left though. I'm feeling at least three more hits. At least three more. We got the Minfu, Pharisee, Gibble, Ferrothorn. We're evolving. We got Orbeetle, Ugh, Wimpod, Ah, Tatsuguri, and Brute Bonnet. Brute Bonnet for the Hollow. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What are your thoughts? Paradox Rift. Skip it. Rip it. I'm sure I didn't come up with that. I'm sure someone else already already says that. Here we go. Defiance Vest. We got Ting Lu, we got Wimpod, and we got Shandy, Sandy Shocks EX. That's actually a hard one to say. Basically, we got Magnemite. Bam, there we go. Let's drop you into a sleeve. Here we go. Bam. All right, I think we've hit all of the EXs. 
I feel like there should be some more illustration rares. Magneton, not Magnemite. There we go. Porygon, we got Seedra, Magby, Vanellite. There should be some more illustration rares coming up here, though. I feel like we haven't hit enough yet. Ah, oh, but there wasn't one right there. If I can grab the cards, Porygon Z, there's the code for you. What do we got left here? One, two, three, four, five. You know what? Almost grabbed that last one, but let's save it for last. Let's save it for last. Bam, here we go. Oh, we got Blitzel. Bound Sweet, Feebas, I see the hollow already at the end, but there still could be an Illustrator Rare in here, Dottler, and uh, this is exactly what I was thinking was going to happen. There's our alternate art for the box, Sandy Shocks. I guess it's cool. I don't think it's very hype. There we go. Bam. There's the code for you. Let's take the Sandy Shocks and drop it into a sleeve. Now, just being real, I think about a week from now, this will probably be like a 30 maybe $40 card, so definitely not worth opening a booster box to pull it. Let's set that aside. Maybe there's a chance at a gold still, but I think there still should be a few illustration rares in here. But how funny is that? Just before I hit record on this, I was like, watch it be Sandy Shocks. Here we go, Wug Trio, Choltik, Or Beetle, and Chen Pao for the hollow. Three packs left. Maybe the gold is, the gold slot is also the reverse slot, or the um, alternate art slot. I feel like I've hit both in the last few booster boxes. Here we go, Crobat, Rourke, Vanellish, oh, Chen Pao, Zekrom. Maybe that was the whole box. There's the code for you. Two packs left, and then we'll do a nice little recap here, and I'll get all of these cards off of my desk. Here we go. We got Minfo, Pharisee, Gibble. At least it was towards the end of the video though. At least it wasn't right off of the bat. We got the Knackly, Charcadet, and Kingdra. Bam. Here we go. Last pack magic. Paradox Rift booster box. I definitely grabbed the wrong booster box out of that case to open up, but here we go. No Tapu Coco today. We got the Snow Runt. Knackle stack. I can't believe that that's a Pokemon. We got Minor. I don't know. Simapore, Zebstrika, Techno Radar. That looks kind of cool. Hiding. Oh, there we go. Our last illustration rare. I knew there should be at least one. Loud Red and the Latios Hollow. There's the code for you. Let's drop Loud Red into a sleeve. This actually looks really nice. And let's do a little recap. Let's go through everything I pulled today. We got the Loud Red, we got Sandy Shocks EX, we got Serena EX, Aegislash EX, Bombardier EX, Iron Moth Illustration Rare, Iron Hands, we got the Dotler Illustration Rare, Toxtricity EX, Chantel, Chantel, uh, Trainer, we got the Iron Valiant EX, Hoopa EX Full Art, and for the alternate art, Sandy Shocks. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I'm going to start posting ones every week again, I promise. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.